I will send you to Jesus. G'day everybody, because welcome to another episode of the Naked Zombie Live. I am your host, the Brad, and joining me in the cardboard box of cuddles, as I like to call it, all the way north from where I am right now, please welcome Nick the Serial Killer. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hey, bud. How's it going? Good, good. Your kids are having a <laughs> ball. Good on them. Hey, yeah, he's little, little, little bloody motorbikes, there, man. Those, those little, <laughs> little plastic I'm, I'm motorbikes. Right right now, now, shit. <laughs> now oh, I, I, I can't wait. The boy. <laughs> <laughs> you wait till you wait till they're in their twenties, mate. You know about now tonight on the show. Before we kick off, a uh, few things just to give people some heads up. Martin Simo had his surgery. Yeah. He, they've, they've re-put his guts back in and everything, and I spoke to him tonight. He's doing a lot better. Uh, he's going to be off yep. for a fair, yeah, about eight weeks because he's just, they've got a oh, sort of, yeah. He, 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 they, they removed, they, they, they stapled his stomach back in where it fell out. Um, so oh, <laughs> that's damn. a nice way to put it. So I've seen, I've yep. seen the patch they got over him now, but he's a lot better. I spoke to him tonight. He's home now, which is good. So he's out of hospital. Um, so yeah, he will be joining us in the next week or so to do the live stream with us. But I've said, you know, take your time, mate, don't rush because the night he was meant to come on and do yeah. it tonight, he ended up in, in um hospital having surgery, so he's good. Yeah, what else? Uh, TikTok's doing really well. I'm surprised, we're up to 42 people follow us now, and it's like 150 likes for only a few videos, so that's going yeah. great, done. Um, I've also I've also had the weirdos pop in, which is I love the weirdos pop in, because um, what I do is I tell a bit of a story, yeah, you know, like certain things that yeah. happen, and then this one guy demanded I show proof and evidence, and I was oh, like, God. "Dude, seriously, it's TikTok." <laughs> well, you're gonna come with the receipts. I want all the receipts. I just went. You really don't have anything better to do, do you? you, you, you know? Anyway, so that's funny. I had a bit of a laugh at that, a bit of a chuckle. That's at TikTok that. oh, for you. That's TikTok. Hey, but hey, listen, we're starting to get more and more people go over to the website, which is fantastic. Um, yeah. Heaps of people now hitting the website because of TikTok. So thanks to my mate who made the suggestion. And I'm doing a couple of days, you know, nothing big, just little stories or bits of sections of this for people to follow and watch. But tonight... This is going to upset a few people. Tonight, cool. we're going to talk about the ghost box, the shack hack, the SP7 and stuff like that because I watched a show the other day on, on, on Netflix and I think it's called 28 Days or something like that. It's about investigations, paranormal investigators yeah. who go and spend 28 days doing things. And they're so into their tech. And, of course, the SP7 ghost box is a big feature of the thing where they do the thing yeah. where they put a blindfold on and headphones. and Yeah, the Estes method. The Estes method, that's it. I was just about to say thank you, mate, and, and all the rest of it. And, and I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I don't think these people actually know how a, a radio works. That's probably a good start. Let's, let's break down how impossible it is for a... Um, the spirit to communicate using such. Now you go, oh, Brad, but I picked up so much evidence. Well, hey, g'day, Baz. Do you know how a radio works is the first thing. You've got to understand. Now, I've done this shit in college. As part of my job as a Sparky, I have to learn all about electronics and shit and how shit works it's just, yeah. this is what we do for a living so i've brought in some components tonight to show you now if you listen to this via the podcast you won't see any of this but i'll give you a bit of a description as well now let's first break down some of the components of right now if you see behind me here up at the back that is full electronic parts 
You're saying, Brad, why don't you make your own ghost hunting gear? Because I know it's a load of shit. Right. So this here is what we call a circuit board, right? This enables to put diodes, capacitors, anything we want in these little boards. We solder them up together yeah. to, to form a function, form an act. Now, yeah. this, this is a diode. Very important in radios. Now, the diodes have a cathodode and an anodode, right? So, and current only goes one way. So, it only allows a certain amount of current to go from one end to the other, positive, negative, or the rest of it. So, you may have quite a few of these in your digital radio. I'm going digital with this because this is the thing. Now, you also need what's called capacitors. You've got to know what this shit is before you can claim that paranormal existence happens through this stuff. That's the capacity. Yeah. yeah. That holds the voltage. So what happens is that will hold a certain amount. When you turn something on through a battery, like I've got a battery here. Yeah, you know, so we've got a, got a battery here. When you, you you hook that up, it holds a certain amount of current. It stays in there. So you can actually zap yourself with these if you're not careful. So they hold current and that allows for the whole yeah. memory and stuff like that. This is this is just a very small part. This is like just the very basics of a radio. Now, the only other trouble mm. is what you've got is what's called a spine wave, S-I-N-E. A sine wave is the basically the amount of wavelength. What's a capacitor? It holds charge. That's a capacitor. See, little capacitor, little dancing on the screen. Dancing, dancing capacitor. <laughs> anyway, so I, I have... Buckets of the shit here. I, I could make a radio quite easily. Then, you, then you got like then back in the old days, you used to have what you called like a crystal radio and stuff like this, where yeah. you use a crystal. It was a thing, and you used to generate its own charge. You used to wind the thing up, yada yada yada, and off you go. What flux? It's not a flux capacitor. Jesus Christ. Anyway, so this is how radio works, right? So you got all these components put in together, powered by a DC or AC current. DC is battery, AC is electrical. So for your power cord or something like that, DC, your plug-in power. Yeah. This, this is all basic shit. This is the basic electronics format. Now, talking about signal waves and stuff like that, how you have a, a, a spine signal, well, a radio wave. So if you're listening to radio station 103.4 in the morning, right? Yeah. That's 103,000 megahertz wavelengths no oh, waves that's levels waves. of to produce one signal that's what you get so you listen to 44.7.7 you have 447,000 lines of waves Damn. going through so it's not just a single radio it's not like a single stream that goes out into the yeah. wild blue yonder but it also has to do with hertz right so the bigger the hertz, the more distance it picks up on frequencies. I reckon that is why they use um, Taiwan <laughs> ghost box. Taiwan, they're cheap enough. <coughs> right? And then you, you've got all this scenario. So what people do, and this is what I find fascinating, is that people will swear black and blue that their $300 SP7 is a tool to communicate with the dead. They don't even know how it works. They do not know yeah. the basics of electronics or basics of how frequency works and stuff like that. So basically what they're saying is that any sort of voice that's randomly generated, a spirit or a ghost can somehow manipul manipulate hundreds and thousands, sorry, yeah, hundreds of thousands of lines of spine length wavelengths yeah into a one coherent se sentence a one word at a rapid rate of knots now i want you to think about this think mm. about this really really hard normal people can't do that yeah i don't know how someone who died in the 1800s even knows the first thing about how radio frequency works and stuff like that or so whatever yeah i mean i'm just saying yeah. i'm saying to manipulate a digital radio frequency takes a diode and mm. a diode is what's a diode attached to a diode is attached to the tuner right that's what labs it to flick through but then you've also got 
oh this gets really cool you also got this whole perception that a little three hundred dollar thing that was actually probably worth twelve dollars off amazon that you can make yourself by yeah. removing the station selector switch out of the actual radio itself which is a tiny little clippy thing that just tells the diode oh i've picked up a signal here i'm going to stop and say a word now what yeah. they've all they've done is that it technically has been disabled or removed which gives it the process of having yeah. that sound go through this is this is how it works so break this down hundreds of thousands worth of of code you're traveling through multiple stations not just one station multiple stations it's flicking through faster yeah. than you can think hundreds and hundreds of lines lines and it's picking up random words as you ask questions yeah. now you're telling me a ghost a spirit a person deceased has the capabilities to actually manipulate an electronic device to give you an answer for a question that you already got in your head. It's bullshit. Hundred yeah. percent bullshit. There is no physical way you can manipulate such a thing without the right electronics attached to it. But so Brad, I've got countless hours of evidence. No, all you got is countless hours of pareidolia where yeah. you it's coincidental it's something that happens so easily the human brain say you ask a question like i hate saying this is there anyone dead here that's passed on and you get that <laughs> then it goes yes or something like that what you're picking up in that split second is thousands and thousands of lines of radio frequencies congested into one word. Um, did you suffer from gonorrhea? <laughs> yes. <All> right? <laughs> did yeah. you have romantic intentions with your sister? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, so you've got all this all this pareidolia happening when and, and this is where I find fascinating that people who claim to be techs in yeah. the paranormal 99.9% .9 of them don't have a trade qualified background, have never studied electronics whatsoever, have never attended college or university for electronics. They've seen it on TV. I'm a tech now. This is what yeah. they do. <laughs> and this is what gives false evidence in anything you do. Look, it's the paranormal is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. You're playing, oh, Brad, you'd be nothing but yeah, I am being skeptical because skepticism is healthy when it comes to this sort of thing. Because what you're doing is you are relying on an electronic device that has been tampered with to remove a section out of it to produce you paranormal evidence. You know how silly that sounds in layman's terms. It like, sounds pretty you, silly. You, it sounds ridiculously silly that people will fall over backwards. To believe the stuff without any formal qualifications or any formal sort of training or any form of understanding i could sit here in my my <laughs> office <clears throat> with all my cool electronic shit my very expensive soldering iron and heat gun my very expensive desoldering tool here my very expensive range of electronics was probably a couple of grand's worth of gear sitting on that top shelf. Not all the other shit I've got scattered around the house. Yeah. I could quite easily sit down and, and design and make a ghost tool. You know why I don't? Because it's shit. Because it's bullshit. I mean, you could do the same thing is. with that theory of how that they say it can manipulate it. You can do the same all thing right. with a TV channel. Get enough channels and flick through it. Ask a question. It'll do the same thing. To do the same thing. Don't mind looking at me ass. It is very hot. <laughs> I understand, Nick, and anyone watching. I feel a bit funny doing this, but I'll just bring out another bit of kit if I can find it. Right. 
touch pads. What have we got here? More circuit boards. I'm looking for something particular. Where is it? Ba, 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 ba. Da, da. Oh, here it is. Okay. Now. This little unit here, right, is for voice activation. All I've got to do is plug this thing into a friggin' battery. And any sound it picks up will flash. Let me just pull it oh, out. Sure. Yeah. It's very simple. It's already already half made for me. All right, so that's it there, right? Can you see yep. that? Positive, negative power input. LED lights up the far and a microphone, right? So when I speak in normal voice, this will flash to the sound of my voice. Yeah. It will flick it to the sound. And all I've got to do is hook up power to it. Now, I could shove that in a box, right? Just a yep. normal box. Hook up a, I think these are 1.3 volts, like a little, like a, a single AA battery or something like that. I could sit there, have that running with these little LEDs coming through and put it down the table. And as soon as it picks up any sort of noise, it starts flashing at me. I could sell yeah. the world's greatest paranormal detecting equipment ever created by mankind. You see where I'm going with yeah. this? Yeah, the set of delay in it. So you say some trigger words and then like, oh, can you hit orange? And then it'll go. Bleh. It will flicker. It's the same process. This this is what people don't understand is, is for their equipment to operate, they need to understand it. And it's very important. Yeah. And the only reason I'm going down this track with this equipment tonight is because so many people get robbed blind by people building electronic bits of equipment, whether it's, do you know what a REM pod is? REM That's pod. just a sensing, a sensing sound, device, sensor. Yeah. So there, you know what it is? It's, it's a theremin. <laughs> a theremin, if you don't know what a theremin is, a theremin is what they did, the original soundtrack to Star Trek was. Yeah. You know, that's <laughs> what it is. You use... Yeah. Your hand in between a pole, the sound waves, yeah. sound, a sound, and it, and it, you can alter the pitch. That's what it is. So yeah. you're actually spending hundreds of dollars on a cylinder box with an aerial sticking out of it with some very basic electronics in the guts to make yeah. it go, go, <laughs> and. It doesn't matter if you're touching the fucking thing or not because you just have to have any sort of electric, electronic magnetic field. You, anyone, anything, a radio frequency will set those things off. They are that sensitive. Yeah. They're built to be sensitive. So when they have all these REM pods scattered around the table and they start flashing and going off of one another, it looks like someone's walking up the hall, they're just, yeah. just setting each other off. Yeah. This 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 is this is the science Star Trek theme anyway. Yeah. This is this is how dumb this industry has become because they've stopped doing the work yeah. in producing their own ways of catching evidence. And 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 this is I'm sorry to say, I mean, this is gonna piss off so many people when they hear it. I don't really care because at the end of the day, all I'm trying to say is it is very hard to manipulate anything without the proper tools, right? Exactly. I can manipulate this here by the sound of my voice. I can manipulate this capacitor by discharging it a certain way and giving it to react a certain way. These diodes, I have a box full of them can be manipulated in any way as long as i said current down one way the current yeah. comes back the other way but it can't come back on itself i mean it, it gets very technical with all the stuff now yeah not only are that you have other different types of capacitors oh my <laughs> god i've been all i've been all geeky sciencey now but this is what i mean so people pay all this money for something that they could quite easily do themselves 
that is also a type of capacitor. Yeah, you know I mean, it doesn't have to be round, but this, yeah, you know, this is a ceramic coated one. So this yeah. is used for more extreme heat, if you know what I mean. So everything's in its place and everything has its place for a reason. And this is what it yeah. comes down, this whole process of the paranormal field relying too much on the electronic side of it with equipment they don't understand. And when I watched this TV series on Netflix, I was actually gobsmacked that they were so engrossed in the tech they didn't, but they didn't understand how the tech worked, if you yeah. know what I mean. So according When you're to more yourself, engulfed in the tech, tech, you tend to miss out on what's really going on around you. That's right. And this is, look, I believe wholeheartedly there is shit out there. This is the thing. I, yeah. I believe there's weird shit out there. I've experienced it myself over the years. There's so much stuff out there I can't put my finger on, yada, yada, yada. It, it, it's a complete mystery to me. Which that's why I love the paranormal field so much. I love the mystery yeah. of it all and the what ifs and the adventure. That's what I'm fascinated about. But you need to understand it first before you can go mm. out and claim yourself to be a tech guy or something. Oh, mate, seriously, I've done college on this shit. I have a computer full of my college courses I've had to do to be an electrician. Yeah. You know what I mean? The hours and hours and hours of theory. And bloody Ohm's law, Pyagoras theorems, and all this other shit, all this fucking math stuff I've had to do just to understand how a basic bloody capacitor works yeah. and why each capacitor is different and how many voltages it can home and what purpose it be used on period to begin with. This is this is what I mean. There's it's more than just oh that's a capacitor. Okay, what does that capacitor do and how does it work? What's it look yeah. like inside? What's the process of it? How to use? This is this is where people don't do, and yeah. this is they they run around going, "Oh, I'm a I'm a tech expert in the paranormal." No, you're not. You know jack <laughs> shit, sunshine. I don't yeah. even play with the shit in the paranormal because I know it doesn't do anything. Because I've had to do the college and all the degree, all the shit to go with it being what I do for a living. Yeah, that's what I get frustrated with. So, in saying that, now okay, let's let's talk about. I'm going deep here. I'm going deep, deep into the cavity of what this shit is about. Now, let's yeah. talk about Hertz. Oh, Brad, but yo, know, okay, your average radio control will pick up locally, right? It'll pick up, yeah. doesn't matter where, Los Angeles or Brisbane or Ipswich or Townsville or friggin' Canada, whatever. It sends out amount, the, the larger amount of Hertz. Yeah the more range it picks up. So these SP7s and ghost hacks, they're, they're, they're digital radios at the end of the day. Yeah. And they will pick up everything in their loco. They run on quite, you know, fairly okay sort of hertz. Yeah. Why don't you try running at, say, three hertz? What does three okay. hertz give you? Fuck all. Literally a one meter radius around you. <laughs> that's all it gives you you know what i mean yeah. so the lower the, the the lower the hertz the closer it has to be so if you've got say a spirit trying to manipulate something which they don't do let's just say hypothetically they do they have a they have a hertz set up and you running very very low hertz right very low yeah. i mean friggin low and it only sort of covers around your sort of general area like a meter square or meter circle whatever mm. you want to call it and you ran white noise only no flicking through radio stations no flicking through <laughs> shit in, in all the crap <clears throat> that goes on but you had <clears throat> just a static. white noise generated <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the ones you get on your phone to help you sleep I yeah. mean a proper white noise generator that you can adjust the hertz on by simply yeah. putting a diode in there and changing it accordingly you can do that you can make those yeah you know, they're very simple if you were to put one of those together with a normal voice recorder and you start asking questions now if you start getting responses through white noise pink noise gray noise white, whatever there's all different levels yeah. of noise. It's not just white noise. There's all different levels of noise. Yeah. If you would actually start having a conversation 
with someone who is deceased through one of those white noise generators and just a work click voice recorder, yeah. then you have something cool. Oh, the hertz yeah. are down. There's no pareidolia involved because there's no way anything can be manipulated. If you think ghosts can manipulate sound waves, then do it that way. Forget yeah. about the SB7s of the world and all the other crap than the ghost hacks and sh- boxes and shit out there. because yeah, if dark. they can do that, they could type on a computer screen. That's right. There, There is more to manipulation than, than, than anything. This is where I get very sort of... Um, Yes, I'm a know-all bastard on certain things because I do it for a living. This, 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 this is this is the thing, mate, and, and this is where I'm going down this road because I get really frustrated with people who blindly believe that anything they get from the SP7, anything they get from a random word generator, right? Mm. They're the worst. The obulus is the worst yeah. thing that ever came out because all you have is a certain number of words. And it randomly, I could type up a very quick program on the computer to do yes, no, right? Yeah. And what you can do, and I've seen my mate do it, which is he's quite, he's very good at computers, better than me, but it's a very simple program. And all it is is that you have the computer up, yes, no, and you ask it like a Ouija board. You go, if they can manipulate that, I'm impressed. Yeah. You know what I mean? They have to physically manipulate. The you yes don't have no to move the mouse. Yeah. Yeah, this this is what I mean. It's it's random word generators, SP sevens, ghost shadow hack, all the rest of it have done nothing for the field. Now, I'm not saying that. Uh, I did a TikTok on this back in the 1920s in the American magazine. Bloody Edison, who was a genius, like yeah. Tesla, was right in the paranormal. Right, loved this shit. You know, he actually built numerous things to talk to the deceased yeah but the small print does say for entertainment purposes only like that's the thing mate but people don't know how to read so it's hard for them to you know that's just me nick don't be so mean anyway so watch <laughs> brad the paranormal guy you love to hate that's what it comes down to but but what it is Oh, I've lost my train of thought now. Okay, okay, yeah, Edison. So Edison built. Now, do you know what a um, uh, what they call those uh, those globe things that you put your hands on a bit of electricity shoot out? Oh, where, the um, fucking Tesla uh, coil. Uh, uh, no, uh, a globe. Yeah, Tesla coil. Same thing. It's a, the principles yeah. the same. How you're shielded by the glass. It produces a very small amount of electricity. And as oh, you touch, thunderbolt. You Thunderball, you complete the circuit. That's what you're doing. You're completing yeah. the circuit. The voltage is very low. You don't die from it. This is why those yeah. people don't read plasma. So, yeah, you had so it basically built one of those, but it was huge. It was massive. It was a plasma ball. Yeah, huge, big, massive yeah. thing on a stand, big ball. All the, all the, all the friggin', the old bloody um, glass valves. You know, now we have like, diodes and shit these are like tubes yeah. glass tubes like in the old tvs and that this thing was full of it he tried for decades to form some sort of communication with the afterlife right yeah. he, he was huge on it uh arthur conan doyle was a massive the guy who wrote sherlock holmes was a massive believer in the paranormal his mm. wife was as well in the 20s man this was a thing you know this was this wasn't just this is real to them. This is the uh, ducks, nuts, everything. Because yeah, this is this is all going downtown. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was. It, it, it is what it was. Now, Edison, of course, and Tesla, all those guys were geniuses. They were science. They they were at their time leaders in their field. Nothing but whoa, blow me away. You know, I won't get yeah. on Da Vinci because that's a whole another thing. You know? <laughs> but. Yeah. When it comes to electricity, and this is what these guys did. This is their whole cup of tea. This was their life. Yeah. Now, Houdini is around the same time. When Houdini died, he, he there's actually a video out there of this where when Houdini died, uh, several years after when his wife was, well, yeah, she was quite elderly at the time. He set it up that it, when he died, that she was to try to communicate with him through 
very similar to this through radio frequencies and stuff yeah. like that because it was a thing. It, yeah. it was this has been around for fucking decades and decades. Yeah, it's not a new thing. It's been around longer yeah. than I've been alive. So this way, and he was such a yeah. And if 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 I can come back through, this is what I'll do. And they actually filmed this. They actually put up a like a tele telecast of this. Yeah, it was in black and white yeah. and all the rest of it. And she asked questions as she was told to, and, and nothing happened. There was nothing yeah. in her, and the thing was, yeah, you know, this has approved the point that my husband has moved on. There was no, yeah, in that sense, yada, yada, yada. So yeah. it was a big thing back in the day, and, you know, who Denny was was amazing. He was a fantastic scapist. He was a, he was a spiritualist for a while, <laughs> then he debunked himself by calling out yeah. others. We'll, we'll do we'll do a show and all that shit later on down the track because it's fascinating yeah. reading. It really is. Well, I've got a question, so, right? Hmm. So, you know how, like, if... Oh, I don't know how to fucking put it. If people are... In, like, would there be a form of a way that you can read the fluctuations in the radio waves? Like, yeah, if something... So it'll, yeah, like, I'll, get a jolt. So could that be yeah. used as a way form of communicate? Yeah. So you have a static, yeah, well, static like one yeah. line just going constant, and then you say, well, you have two bounces in it as a no, and then the one is yes. Would that be a form of way? Well, it's, just, it's 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 the same principle as involved of trying to get communications electronically, isn't it? Because you're trying to get yeah. them to manipulate yeah. a electronic device using their energy or whatever to to make it move and ping and carry on yeah now we we use a thing called an oscillator which an oscillator is actually it's for wavelengths yeah we can adjust yeah. it we can tune it you don't see them around much anymore because they're really big in the 70s 80s and 90s nowadays they're sort of just they're a museum piece if you know what i mean <laughs> i want one <laughs> because they're cool <laughs> yeah. because i'll have a ball with it yeah because I love that old stuff. But in saying that, you got you got to take the equation out, and this is where you got to break it down to. How does an entity, a spirit, whatever you want to call them, manage to manipulate anything to do with electricity? Considering they can't even pick up a pencil. There's certain things they can and can't do. Now, of course, we know yeah. of poltergeist happening where cupboard yeah. doors open the slam and shit gets thrown. That's energy. That's kinetic yeah. energy, right? Kinetic energy is force. We know what that is. And, and you've got to have different types of energy with different types of scenarios. You know, every, yeah. action, every action has often an equal reaction. It's, 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 uh, it's uh, mm. Newton's law and all the rest of it. So you've got all these laws involved in how this shit works. You just can't have, oh, because it can. Because it can doesn't work. Be because yeah. it can is not a logical explanation for why shit happens. Mm. Right? So you've got to convince not only yourself, but people around you that look at something, so a bit of evidence you have, right? Um, yeah. That you've sat in a room and you've sucked there. I don't know. Why would you sit in a room with a set of head muffs on and a blindfold? Uh, it's to, to cut out all the other senses, so all you're concentrating on is the... Dude, but it, it doesn't because you still got taste, you just still got smell, you still yeah. have the environmental factors of whether it's cold or hot. You know, all yeah. these things, I, the, people don't realise, it, it's not just you get rid of two senses, like sight and sound. You have to get rid of everything else too. You have to basically, yeah. basically be deprived of everything. Like basically where, isolate yourself in a soundproof booth type thing. Exactly. Like where you can't even feel yourself. You can't even yeah. touch yourself as a distraction. This, I mean, is, this is what people don't what get. Are those, what are those special rooms that they have negative sound? Like if you go um, in it for a certain amount of time, you go fucking nuts. You go ma mad, mad. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, 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 well, you had the deprivation chamber, right? Because mm. it deprives you of any sort of natural sound light. at all yeah sound you can't hear it you can't even hear yourself because it's because it's nothing you nothing it's like yeah. it's like being a void you know it's quite creepy as hell i would imagine i've never been in one but yeah. they are out there um so you you have to explain what how yeah. how does it do it how does how does a spirit manipulate an electronic device to produce any sort of evidence whatsoever you can't tell me because it can that yeah. doesn't tell me personally 
that you are actually doing anything to Because, I mean, that if point. you can manipulate the radio waves to communicate, it can communicate in any form. You can put a little tiny audio, piece mate. of lead on a piece of paper and it should be able to pick it up and draw with a tiny Charlie, bit of Charlie, lead. Charlie, Charlie. Yep. Exactly right. See, this is the people People think that because it makes good TV, let's get as much electronics shit out there and say, look, mate, mm. I'm pro-electronics. I work with this shit as a job. Yeah. You know, I have... I, I understand this shit because I work with it every day. You give me a broken drill, I'll fix it. You give me a busted TV, I'll repair it. Not that I do that shit anymore, but yeah. I do a lot of electrical and like high end shit now. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. I'm constantly changing, breaking down circuit boards to find if there's an issue or there's a problem. It could be a break in, in the solder, that little tiny micro yeah. shit that will stop something from working. Yeah, you know, yeah. It, it can't manipulate. You can't tell me that a ghost can manipulate electronic device to give you any sort of proper paranormal proof whatsoever. If you show me, like you said, if you were to get a bit of paper, oh, I don't have a bit of paper here, but I'll use this as an example. Yeah. If you were to have, say, a bit of paper, or well, this isn't paper, and you just write a line not like that. See, I've got a line. This is great for radio, but you write a line that. And you put, yes. Brad no. is holding up a piece of paper with a line on it. <laughs> yes, no one. Okay, like this. And, and you stuck a pencil right in the middle and you left the room with a video camera on it. And including any sort of environmental factors that will cause any sort of interruption because graphite is a form of what, Nick? I've got no it holds idea. static. Oh, okay. All right, so you yeah. gotta really think about this shit. You just can't. Shoot like, and you wouldn't, to... you wouldn't put it on a table because then people are gonna start with the whole, oh, it's table tipping. You could have moved the table. So it's literally like most of it's all gonna be on foundations, like on oh, the it ground. Has to be on solid foundation. I'm talking six yeah. centimeters thick slab of concrete. Yeah, even yeah. then you got vibration coming through from. And I mean, Those I'd love to see constantly. some of them, the paranormal investigators, go out with the old, the crystal on the chain and get the metal fucking tripod and sit that up and have it dead weight. I mean, yeah. you're all going to be sitting one around box. it, so you're going to block the wind pretty damn well. Go one better, Co get one and cover it in its perspex and seal it up. Yeah. If a ghost can travel through the world walls, why can't they? bloody poke a bloody Travel thing to a sealed a box sealed yep. box like you make a clear perspex box seal it off have a little little wireframe have a plumb bob sitting in in the middle of it and there's no yep. way that any sort of breeze vibration all the rest of it, i don't care if you put it on fucking springs on the base yeah. just act as so to counterweight any sort of movement like they do yeah. with construction buildings for bloody um high rises and shit yeah. Do something like that. If that thing starts fucking moving and swinging and carrying on, we asking the questions. That's cool. Yeah. Because there's no manipulation. It is totally manipulated by whatever's doing it. Not environmental. Yeah. Not static energy. Not any of this shit. You know, because I'm sure someone's got to write him a big long story and go, Brad, you're full of shit. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. I don't care. Then show me the proof. Show me the proof mm -hmm. you understand how the stuff works and how you're meant to try that. different things. Uh, you're me. meant to try different. I'm not in 30. Let's try it, love it. But yeah. I love trying different things. And I've been doing this for over 30 years, mate. And I have no interest in someone coming up to me and, and trying to prove to me that a, a ghost manipulated their radio because it can without giving yeah. me an explanation how it can. How Okay, yeah. explain to me. Oh, they use their their energy when okay, what sort of energy is it? Is it thermal energy? Is it is it kinetic no, energy? Is it, is it psionic this, is energy? It? Is it thermal energy? Mate, there's there's so much different energies out there that well, which yeah. one is it? And how did they use that energy? Did they manipulate it through what just by pushing air? You know, did they? You know, yeah. There's, but people won't go there those links because a they don't understand it and they don't want to understand it because it sort of takes away yeah. the mystery of what they've possibly found. Because it doesn't mm. make good TV. See, I would I be absolutely horrible. 
Plexum views. I would abs- yeah, I would be the worst guy in the world to take on a paranormal investigation. <laughs> but everyone else is crapping themselves because a cupboard door opened up. I'd be going, well, why did it open up? How did mm. it open up? I would check the hinges. I would check the levels. I would check if there's any drafts coming through. I would check if it's wear marks. Where there's, I mean, there's all these little things you need to look at before yeah. you can say, okay, look, I've seen some really cool shit out there and really cool videos that make me scratch my head and go, holy shit, I don't want to be in that room at the same time as that guy, right? Yeah. not saying it doesn't happen. It does happen. I wouldn't be doing this if it didn't happen. But yeah. just got to break it down. Right, but yeah, I don't, don't think we're meant to down. get it on film. I think our our indicate our in, yeah, our interactions are meant for us not to be filmed. I, it's I like if that if like because they can't tell you, they can't say, "Oh, don't go do this," because that's interfering. So that's where I came along with. There's rules when you die, so they're not meant to be interacting with us. That's probably a case too, mate. I don't know because. Yeah. I'm not going to find out till I'm dead. Yeah. Right? If if when I die... And I'll be fucked then... if I go to any of these pommy bastards that sit there on these <laughs> things every fucking day and go, it's me from the naked zombie. You were right. <laughs> I'm not going to fucking do that. <laughs> no, that's, that's the thing, mate. Look, I mean, I've had weird shit happen at work, right? Constantly. I, I have had brooms fly off the wall. I've had... Yeah. We've recorded noises at three o'clock in the morning of laughter and shit. That's creepy shit, man. Because we Yeah, we've had the our... the drawers rattle at an old house that we lived in. <sighs> that was freaky shit. It's, but it's I was out there. Little. Yeah, mate, I've grew up with it. You know, and, and this yeah. thing it's it's the why I'm fascinated by it. And as I've got it, yes, I have become more cynical because I don't believe half the shit I'm told anymore. I'd need to look it up mm. for myself. You know, the, the joys of doing what I do for a living has exposed me to so much education. Uh, sounds like a plan. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, mate, at the end of the day, right, we, we don't know in that sense. Look, I, I won't know till I die whether or not I, I, I my spirit <coughs> release and I'm walking around my backyard going, oh, the dog crapped over there again. That's that's what See, I'm that up somehow. I seriously my, can't wait. Ghost pals. I seriously can't wait until a like a YouTuber, like there's a few of them out there, so I'm not going to pinpoint any yeah. that hunt for demons and like sit there and go, oh, I'm not scared of you. Rah, 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 rah. What the fuck are they going to do if they do their little fucking like? Because I mean, I know everyone's like many people have seen Andrew do it, but yeah. what happens on the freak fucking occurrence that something like hail and brimstone starts? <laughs> out of that fucking Seagull <laughs> and something stands up and goes, you have summoned me. What the fuck are they going to do? They're just going to go, oh, shit. Because, oh, I mean, honestly, they're Shadow Realm fucking dick creatures, man. That's the demons. Like, you don't want to fuck you, you, with them. You'll be dead instantly. <laughs> There'll be no yeah. sort of, they wouldn't give a rat's ass. And that's why <laughs> I laugh. The fact that, yeah, but look, I'm sure there's a shit out there. Right, and I'm sure. Oh yeah, it's, for sure. It's 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 an everyday life somewhere it happened to someone somewhere around the world. Right, we could I be standing beside one in a supermarket and not even know. That's the thing. This is what we don't know. But yeah. using using like the SP7, any sort of electronic device, those stupid bloody cat balls that glow when yeah. they get some movement. I mean, all that shit. It's just rubbish. It is. It, well, how's toys, this? If this is if this whole white noise and spirit box shit is legit, I now have hearing aids for um, tinnitus, really fucking bad yep. tinnitus in the ear. Yep. I have, I got in my my arm um, in the setups that they do on it. I can go one, two. I like put it on two different settings. Yep. And the second setting has a constant <laughs> white noise Just playing in the background, <laughs> going through your head. Yep. Yeah, and it, so it's, it's, technically, if I just sit there in the dark with them on and I hear shit, voices. I should be able to hear ghosts. So, yeah, I you, go and tell you, people, you, oh, you I'm hearing it. ghosts through my hearing aids. They're going to go, man, <laughs> yeah. you're fucking crazy. You're, you're a complete cuckoo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, but, I, mean, oh, this, look I, I mean, but this, this, this is it, mate, at the end of the day. How are we going to be taken seriously as a 
as an industry, which I'd love to see us taken seriously if we don't break yeah. the shit down and try to explain it. But people will believe anything. People will believe, they'll grasp on the hope, they'll grasp on the <laughs> idea of something works. And no matter what you say to them or how to explain it, and just telling me just because is not yeah. an answer. It's the worst possible yeah. answer you can get. You, you, and, and these people will jump up and down, crack the shits, demand my channel be taken down, and all this other crap, or get cease and desist letters and all the other crap I've or, dealt with. Or demand years. that we show evidence, and as soon as we do, they think we're full of fucking shit. That's the thing. It's, it's a no-win situation. So you lot, you lot out there that believe your SP7 or your shack hat is talking to a dead person, you go nuts. Because Whatever at, at helps the you sleep day, at night. At the end of the day, you're falling. The only person you're falling is yourself. I was hearing aids now in stock. There you go, mate. You can get ovulous hearing aids. That's what you want. Yay. They've got Bluetooth in Yay, them now. Yeah, they like do. The new hearing aids that are like three grand each. You can, yeah. if you've got the right phone, you can Bluetooth it to YouTube and listen to music and shit. And I'm like, now that's a cool way for an old person to be arrogant as. Uh, Oh, I can't <laughs> just put wait, music man. on I and just say, I can't hear you. <laughs> I, I can't wait till I'm to that point where I can just be more obnoxious and be old and get away with it. That's <laughs> what I'm looking forward to. It. That's that's yeah. my goal in life. But can you imagine me, right, get involved in a few of these groups that go out and just do the whole... Look, yeah, set up video <coughs> cameras. Cool. Walk around, check everything out. Cool. Take as many photos as you can. Cool. Yeah. Do all this shit. If you grab some good evidence, good on you. Good work. You, yeah. You're one step closer to a mighty big friggin' long tall ladder you got to climb to get anywhere. Yeah. I'm even me, mate. I'm probably on the second run when it comes to the shit, and I do yeah. this for a living in electronics and electricity. This ladder's massive, and you got to look at this yeah. as a ladder. You know what I mean? Edison, way, way up there, but he still had a fucking long way to go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's, this is what I mean. You, you, you look at the paranormal as a ladder, and each step you take, and each time you, you take another step. But I guarantee yeah. it, even someone like me who's been around for as long as I have, long as it met, we are still on the fucking bottom run. You know, yeah. We are still fucking know nothing when it comes to this industry because there is, you, you can't learn it. And, yeah. And learn it all before you drop dead. I'm sure there's some very smart people out there, but yeah. that they, they just don't they don't understand either. So and for it's, people it's an to actually stuff. and for people to prove a lot of the shit. I mean, like because they sit there and go, Oh, well, you're saying sit there on your own in the dark and just listen. Like you can't hear shit what people record on their phones and that, even with those handheld recorders. So maybe the only way to debug that whole bullshit is to have electrodes on the brain and show brain stimulation when something's actually heard. Not a stupid idea, mate, because there's a lot mm. of tests that have been done on there in the, you know, there's, you, you ever seen them just quickly? This has sort of evolved. You ever seen the uh, men hysteric goats? Yeah, you know, about the I whole espionage so. using psychic yeah. powers to spy on the enemy and all that was a thing. That was a yeah. real thing. That that happened. Yeah, the Russians and the and the Americans. That was before that like, MK oh, Ultra oh. shit, wasn't it? Yeah. That this this is yeah. like this is going back, man. Yeah, you know, this this was a yeah. thing. And you know, um telekinesis and it's all the stuff and spoon bending and all this was a yeah, this was all espionage shit yeah. back in the day. Um, and they did a lot of testing on, on certain subjects, and they did basically stick shit in their brain, you know, to yeah. to to, <laughs> to to see monitor what, everything, yeah, you know, monitor shit and stuff like that. And they carried on this program for years, and I'm sure it probably still does go on somewhere in the world at some stages, oh some yeah, level. You know, what I mean, well, it has to, man. This is too weird not to. But yeah, you know, in, in 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 saying all this, in, in saying all this tonight about how. I think it's a load of rubbish. And, and look, and seriously, and this is where we get to people like Steve Huff from Huff Paranormal, um, who sells twelve thousand um, dollar telephones. What to the, the board, hell is in that thing those. worth twelve grand, mate? It's it's a fucking um, what it is, um, and I will not. It's what it is is basically a a amplifier, like a small guitar amplifier, which I've actually got one in my office here somewhere, hiding, no doubt, and I've got one. My little five-watt thing. 
Yeah, just to lock a speaker. And, and then the, they do is they set up, they put a loop on it as it so yeah. feeds back on itself. And it's just a recording, man. And, and, and you grab hold and you're trying to, oh, with crystals and <laughs> copper wiring and all such. Mate, I, I've got a speaker like here. A, I could run down. Like yeah, a pokey machine down, effect. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Flashing I, lights. Flashing lights. I can make flashing lights too, very easy. But yeah, I could. I could get my, my speaker, right, stick a lab of concrete on it, just hot glue it on there, a bit of silicon, just stick it on there, run some barbed wire across the top, throw some sparkly shit at it, and I've got one myself that will communicate with the dead. But so and you sell it up from your backyard. Less, and sell it for less, less, less than $12,000 per pop, you know what I mean? But yeah. the guy has made a lot of money from this, you know? He yeah. has taken this whole spiritualism and all the rest of it's taking this way past anyone else maybe that's has. something we should jump on and make a zombie box honestly dude i don't think i could live with myself <laughs> <Sell outs. laughs> i honestly think that would be the worst idea possibly i could ever with think every purchase you get a smirk and up <laughs> here you go bro <laughs> yeah yeah i'll just take your money thank you very much stick it in my pocket and off i ride off in the sunset and make another bullshit video but what, now when you turn it on you got to leave it for 48 hours for it to charge up properly <laughs> <laughs> Let the crystal charge. I mean, but this, this, this is a thing. This is what people do. But mate, it's not the trouble is with with what's well, half doing is nothing new. It's yeah. It's been around for eons. It's been around for God as long as mankind has walked on yeah. the face of the planet. There's always a good scheme going on. There's always a good bit of. Uh, shandy pandy if you know what i mean happening out there with the paranormal you have many mediums and psychics who yeah who set up their little five dollar booths at the shopping center you walk up and they give you a reason they get everything fucking wrong but you still walk out there with less money in your pocket um yeah. it's it's it, it is it's an industry Sh shenanigans is an industry mate there's no so two words about it. I can't put it in any nicer. The stuff with the SB7s, it's a, it's a shenanigan thing, yeah. right? It gives people the confidence to go and do YouTube videos, which is fine, or make a TV series. If they're happy to go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nuts, sunshine. Do what you got to do. Yeah. You know? But it's it's not so much the belief. You can believe whatever you want. Now, that's fine. I'm a big believer, and you believe what you, you do, you. Yeah. You know? If you believe yeah. that, we go, I don't care. But until for me, Unless you know how the basics work, the basic science of telecommunications and all the rest of it work and how DC, AC, all this other shit works and what componentry does and all the rest of it, then I'm not going to believe a fucking word you say because you're not giving me the evidence I need for yeah. me to go just, yeah, okay, yeah, I believe you, yeah. But then again, who am I? I'm just some yeah. rando on the internet who talks about this shit for a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah. in that sense, yeah. Who am I? I'm nobody. I'm just some guy who... Has an opinion but on like the subject. That's the way seeing I Seeing a whole heap of doors and windows start pulsating and shaking now. That's some good Shattering. shit. Shattering. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's cool. I mean, that, but I mean, that I'd like to see someday. After all this time of people doing paranormal investigations and filming it, I mean, it's been going on for decades. Yeah, like, however happens. long. It's yeah, but I mean, how is, it, how is it no one has footage of them sitting down at a coffee table or a dining table? And having a conversation. Having a conversation? Actually having a manifestation, a conversation. Or, a or class are there class actual class. videos? Uh, or are there actual videos of it and we're just not being allowed to see them? Ah, that could be a point too. We don't know what the yeah. government's hiding, mate. This could be all freaking real. But um, yeah. I, I, I saw a good movie on Netflix. It's called We Have a Ghost. And it was yeah. really a beautiful movie. It was really good. It was. It had told a very good story, and yeah, a bit of tongue in cheek, a bit of fun, but it, it yeah. had a good, it had a lot of heart to it, which I absolutely yeah. loved about. I love a good movie with a bit of heart, you know. But look, at, at the end of the day, mate, it's people are going to believe what they want to believe. If you don't understand the basic science behind something, don't claim to be an expert on it. Yeah. I'm not an expert on it. I am We've been doing it 20 yet. odd years, 20, 30 years, and we're still not experts. Yeah, you know, the thing is, but I, I'm not an electronics engineer at all. I'm a yeah. Sparky. I'm not an expert on it. 
but I understand yeah. the basics and how things work because that's my job. If I didn't know how shit worked, I wouldn't be very good at my job. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to get at. I need you need to understand what you're doing. But claiming to be a tech expert in the paranormal, come on, that's that's a bit of shit. Really? Yeah. You're, you're just some guy who likes playing with tech. That's all you are. You, you don't need to pretend you, you, you're an expert. You yeah. don't need to pretend you're a demonologist when you sat down and done a like a, a three-hour online course on naughty names for demons. You know, yeah. You're not a demonologist. You, you, you may have a bit of paper saying you are, but that's not real. That's internet you know, bullshit. <laughs> there are no experts in our industry. No. It's internet bullshit. Damn you, internet, for making the souls worse. But <laughs> it, it is what it is. There are no experts. There are no, not no. even in the tech side. There, there, there's no one who is like the godfather of the paranormal. I, I don't care who no. you say. I mean, you, you, you can look at the, the, the you know, like um, the, the Warners, whatever you want. You know, they, they were they were just a couple of people who liked running around and checking shit out, and they got a lot of evidence over the years, which good on them. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's all it is. More like demonologist for dummies yeah yeah that's that's it baz it's pretty much of shit at the end of the day so yeah, look if you disagree with me please let me know yeah there you go to the I mean, website check out there's shit on demons and all that, that, that that's know. not a, yeah there's no nothing there's you can't get all information about demons on the internet you need to get into those archives and there's only one way to get into those archives Stop having sex with women. <laughs> Become a priest, a Catholic priest, and get in there yeah. and have love, with, make love to those books. But, mate, that's it for tonight's show. I think I've spoken what I've had to say. Yeah. I sort of gave my rundown and my opinion on electronics and how they work and how I think it's a load of crap in the industry. Um, you know, I've had toys to fucking start up on their own but you know a lot of it has to do with buddy simple things like capacitors just releasing that last yeah. bit of energy it just releases that last bit of spark and it turns something to go Ugh, you know type like thing. those it, dreaded it, it, kids toys in the middle of the night out in the land that just that, start fucking laughing and you're like have to, what the hell was that <laughs> walk out matter. and it's tickling me elmo laughing there you go okay. <laughs> I mean, that the and, and, just... and, and you know, you know, and all it is, and like I said, is even though the battery, it doesn't even got batteries in it, right? Because yeah. the, these little buggers, these are tiny. There's some big ones in those toys. Yeah, yeah. They hold a lot of current. How many volts does this thing hold? This little thing holds like forty-seven volts. So imagine six or seven of those. Yeah. All it takes is the right atmospheric conditions to trigger it. And Tickle Your Elmo was doing fucking cartwheels down the stairs, doing a crab walk. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? That's, what it, that's all it takes. For, yeah. Just release that last bit of energy and, and something will go off. This is how it works. This is, this, yeah. is, this is the wonderful world of shit from the naked zombie. But, mate, <laughs> we'll come up to end of tonight's show. It was a lot of fun tonight's show. Yeah. Remember, send all your hate mail. You can send it to me. That's fine. Uh, don't forget. To oh, Baz said he'd take it on. Oh, you're starting to get all zingy again. What's he doing? You're starting to go oh, all zingy it, again. Uh, oh, hang on. Am I zingy still? Yep. Am I still zingy? Yep. See? Those are manipulating my speech pattern and my electronics. <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit. You got to take your pill, man. You're turning back into a Dalek. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm good. Just get out there and just enjoy it and just enjoy if you're getting it. something. Enjoy the experience. Don't try to fucking prove shit. 
yeah, just enjoy it. Just do it for your own pleasure. Keep making your videos, keep doing your shit, but just have a think about what you're doing and how you're doing it and understand the shit you're doing it with. That's that's all I'm saying. Yeah. You know? Embrace fun, the I don't nothingness. <laughs> Hey, it's okay if you don't know something. That's what half the fun of learning shit is. But anyway, yeah. guys, be good. We'll see you next time. See you Tuesday night with Wadzi and the weird news of the week because he's keen to do another set. And me and you will be back again on next Wednesday night. Don't forget, tell your friends, subscribe to the channel. And follow yeah. us on TikTok and Facebook and all the other shit we do. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, Nick. Bye. Bye. Thanks for visiting the Naked Zombie. Yeah, we love you all. Kisses. Yeah. <laughs>